All right, that's detail two. We're going to put this together, and now we're going to show that the width is the size of the largest binomial coefficient. So here's what we do. We take the subset lattice, and now we envision the biggest anti-chain of them all. Here it is. Here's a bunch of sets that are pairwise incomparable. They're set A1, they're set A2, they're set A3, over to some A sub W, where W is the width. So these sets are pairwise incomparable. They are distinct sets, and none of them is a subset of any of the others, and the W is as large as I can find. And the goal is to show that W is at most the size of the middle level, the middle coefficient. All right, now here's what I'm going to do. For each I, let T sub I count the number of maximal chains passing through the set A sub I. Just count them. Now, add them up. W. Add up the numbers T sub I for I equals 1 to W. I claim that's at most in factorial. Where am I getting it from? Where am I getting that from? It's the total number of maximal chains. It, it must go through one of the variables in that maximum chain. I like everything you said about that sentence except one part. You said they must go through one. They must go through at most one. At most one. There might be, ma there might be maximal chains that slip by and miss them all. But no maximal chain goes through two of them. So if you count the number that goes through this, that's T1. If you count the number that goes through that, that's T2. But they're, you're not double counting. Then you count T3 and T4 and T5 and T, that's over to T sub W. You haven't double counted any maximal chains. And there's only n factorial of them all together. So we get that sum. All right, now, how many go through set AI? Well, it depends on how big the set AI is. We just did that. So this becomes the summation I equals 1 to W. Now, this is going to look a little messy, but if we just think about it, it's the size of AI factorial times n minus the size of AI factorial is less than or equal to n factorial. Because I know what T sub i is. I, I just did that. That's the product of two factorials that are determined by the size of the set A sub i. Okay, is, that, is that line clear? Now, divide both sides by n factorial. Summation i equals 1 to w of cardinality of a i factorial times n minus 
cardinality of AI factorial over N factorial is less equal to 1. Now, do you recognize that animal? What is it? Lecture probably three. It's a binomial coefficient written upside downwards. This is simply this expression. Ah, the engineer's going to fuss at me. I got to. That's the reciprocal of the binomial coefficient C choose cardinality of AI. Now, what's the biggest binomial coefficient? The one in the middle. So when you take reciprocals, what's the smallest reciprocal? The smallest reciprocal is the one in the middle turned upside down. So every one of those terms is greater than or equal to the middle coefficient upside downwards. So this is greater or equal to W over C N N over 2. My handwriting is not the best in the world. Can you see that that's a n over 2? Every term here, and they're w terms, every one of those terms is greater than or equal to 1 over the middle coefficient. And now the inequality is there. Multiply both sides by c, n choose n over 2, and you have w is less, less equal to C n choose n over 2. <coughs> so there is an antechain of that size, and the biggest antechain has size at most C n choose n over 2. So I now know what the width is. Have I solved the Dilworth problem? No. Only one half of it. I know the width. Now I need to find a chain partition. And that, this proof doesn't touch that. Now we've learned that the Dilworth problem seems to be a bit more challenging for posets in general, but the subset lattice is a very special poset. Maybe there's something that will come to our rescue, and there is. But before I move on, any questions about the argument that, that we just went through? Is it clear to you that the width of the subset lattice is the middle binomial coefficient? Question. So, uh, why, did you take why did we take the reciprocal? I didn't really take it. It jumped out of a cave and grabbed me. See, <coughs> here was a count for maximal chains. And when I divided by n factorial, there is the animal. I didn't create it. It came to me quite naturally. So that's why I took a reciprocal. I, I didn't take it. it. That is a reciprocal. I, I'm not really being um, facetious here. I, I, I didn't consciously take a reciprocal. I, I did a calculation. Was that you? That was cute. You, you're the guy that emptied skiles the other day. 
<laughs> Somebody has uh, turned on the, the alarm in Skiles once a week for most of the last month. So we take a break, go out and get a coffee. OK, so is this argument clear to you that we have found the width, but we, what we don't know is a partition of the subset lattice into chains, a Dilworth partition. And we're going to get that, and we're going to get a second proof of Sperner's theorem all at once. All right. 